Hey, I'm Matt. Welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today we have a very special one for you. We got a gardening celebrity here. I don't know Jim about Putt. that. I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll go. Well, thank you for inviting. Thank you for having us up here. Uh, yeah, we, we are yeah. honored to have you here. Uh, good friend, and just appreciate you swinging through. Yeah. And we wanted to bug him while he was here and get him on camera for a top five. Uh, we love doing these top five Japanese maples. So today is going to be Jim Putnam's top five Japanese maples. Okay. All right. So we're jumping right in. We'll do it. Okay. All right. So I picked them by habit. I thought that that was my, you know, the, the way I would go. And so uh, Naba Shadari is one of my favorite just weeping ones. Every time mm. I see this one anywhere, yeah. it, it just has almost a perfect weeping, a perfect weeping form. It has heat tolerance. Right. And good, good midsummer color still on it, um, typically. Yeah, it's one of the top lace leaves we always recommend. It's one my dad was growing really early on, yeah. so we've we've been doing it here for forever. <laughs> right. I feel like the ones that he did, like pre two thousand, I'm like partial to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. Yeah, those yeah. are the ones I started out with. But yeah, it's always been a classic for us. I mean, heat tolerant, great color, awesome right. shape. Really can't ask for much more. And then a uh, Siriu for the green lace leaf, just classic upright green Japanese maple. Yeah. 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 Uh, again, you know, great choice. Huge fan. I think it's been in a few of our top fives for its growth rate. Right. Over a foot and a half of growth a year is like, right. you know, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. people always say like, are Japanese maples fast or slow growing? And I'm like, well, it depends on what <laughs> yeah, you're looking right, at. Yeah, because right, yeah. look at Siriu, this is a, over a foot and a half of growth most years. So. Right, uh, and you can see it even in that container, how yeah. much it stretched just this year. Still green right now, but I love that it gets some really nice red fall color too, which is kind yeah. of a nice trait yeah. to it. Uh, and then I picked uh, orange, Orangeola for its just overall color change, you know, throughout throughout the year. Yeah, gosh, yeah. It's always a classic. We, yeah. uh, in the maple side, we do a maple of the year, and I think this was yeah. like one of the first maples of the year, just yeah. because everybody loves it. Right, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been around for a while. Yeah. Um, always a favorite too i think uh i think this is miss jody our office manager's number one all-time maple she always right. if people call this i need a maple she's like look at orange yellow right because <laughs> everybody loves this one it, i almost put autumn moon oh, in my color choice. change yeah in my in my color change list just because it's yeah. you know it's got that it's got that thing too where it's just every day you look at it it's you know so, right. so, somehow a little different and then i picked a thread leaf uh kodoni ito um just because it's an interesting thread leaf it's it adds a lot yeah. of texture here too to this collection. Right. I like that you got a well-rounded group here. There's a lot of going on. Like you could plant this <laughs> right. group together. Right. So yeah, it's a well right. thought out yeah. grouping. Yeah. Uh, Kotsuits has got that, that harp string like, you know, it's got the yeah. stringy growth and great fall color. It was like orangey yellow for us. They're starting to drop on some of the containers already, but classic Japanese maple for sure. Yeah. All right. And then I picked Osakazuki for upright form, you know, just so rather than blood good, which, you know, most, most, places you go to yeah. buy an upright red Japanese maple, you know, or purple leaf. It has a great fall color, just great overall form. Oh, I love this one. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was in Osaka and I asked them, is this named for Osaka because Osakazuki? Yeah. And they're like, no, it's named for a specific cup that Japanese people would know that uh, has that intense red color and it perfectly ah, illustrates the okay. fall color. Okay. So I it's like you. a traditional Japanese cup, but it's that neon red. Uh, Osakazuki, a green, go into like probably the most intense reds in the fall of any right. Japanese maple. I think it's probably most people's number one red fall color Japanese right, maple. Yeah, it stands out from a from 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 a distance. So yeah. perfect. Ah, uh, Jim, thanks so much. These are uh, yeah. some of your top five, and uh, I think you got a good set. I mentioned before, but I mean, shoot, you could plant these five together. They kind of right. fit together. You got a good group. We're good. In. That's what I, that's what I was going for. Is just is 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 a one of each. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks awesome. so much for being here today on the Mr. Maple Show. Yeah, thanks for the invite. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Mr. Maple Show. Up next, we have some bonus clips from our podcast with Jim Putnam. In these clips, he talks about some of his favorite Japanese maples. So, Jim, we'll start off the start off this podcast since there's so many people in here that are lovely maple people. They love maples. Uh, right. I, I know you do all types of plants, but I know right. you do like Japanese maples. I do. Uh, what is it about Japanese maples that you like? Uh, you know, I think mainly it might be winter, you know, which is one of the videos I'm here to shoot with you guys this time is I love, you know, uh, I love the structure of them and, and, and the fall and winter interest part of them. I think they can anchor and be, you know, a, uh, the bones, kind of the bones of the landscape, uh, you know, and you need those, mm -hmm. you, you need those things that just kind of hold up in you know, all conditions. 
Oh, I couldn't agree more. I was talking to somebody the other day, and it's like I go sometimes and I visit Japanese maples or just deciduous woody ornamentals, but mostly Japanese maples at arboretums and stuff out of leaf. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll take pictures of it. Right. And then I'll get back and I'll be like, no, I promise it was in leaf. Like I got so excited to see this <laughs> right. plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll look at the picture later and I'll be like, that that wasn't even in leaf. Yeah, it's still interesting. It, it was just in my mind that, you know, I envisioned all the seasons right. that this thing does. and Right. It was shocking to me that it wasn't actually in leaf when I was that excited about yeah. it. Whenever it comes to uh, plants, you have such an affinity for so many different plants. Uh, and I know that we mentioned a little bit about Japanese maples. Yeah. Um, is there a particular Japanese maple you like the most? Uh, well, I have this. <laughs> I mean, I love a lot of Japanese maples, but I have a fondness for one to, to Mukiyama that I've had for about 15 years years that if you guys have anybody has seen it it's contorted all over yeah. the place and i know exactly what you're talking about i you know frequent the channel so i know, yes, I know well yes. what you mean so i have uh, people it, people go oh that poor plant <laughs> <laughs> it's the most loved japanese maple in america it was you know and it was it's been carted around all over the place it was just it was a, it was a display piece at my garden center and now it's a display piece on the channel. But I'm about to bend uh, my hot blonde that I got oh, from you. Nice. I, I actually have the cable at the house. And nice. I'm going to bend it this uh, winter. So there will be one of yours is going to be bent next. Very cool. That, that, that would be, I, I can't wait to see those videos and see yeah. see the see that tree as it's bent and twisted. And uh, oh, people are, and again, people are going, oh, that poor tree, like you're abusing <laughs> it somehow. It's like, no, I'm going to actually make people love it more. <laughs> yeah, you know, people will be more likely to take care of it in the future. Right. Mark Wethington put out uh, Acer Lavagatum that he'd wild collected. Yeah. And Matt and I were like, please name this. Please name this. If you yeah. don't put a name on this, this will be Acer Lavagatum Mark Wethington. Is it Hong, is that Hong, Hong Long? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hong I, have, Long. I have a Hong Long that I haven't put in the ground yet. So you got us that. to graft it when it was like a, a like small, small plant. Yeah. So yeah, we were yeah. just putting it on Palmatum. Uh, okay. Because gotcha. it's in the same section. Yeah. And uh, we, we probably had it like five or six years. And we're like, this thing has purple bark and oh, weird it's foliage. It's yes. super funky. Yeah. And he was like, guys, I don't know. And I'm like, have you ever seen another one that looks like this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's like, no. I'm like, well, we're going to name it you if you don't come up with something. Right. Like, this is going to be Mark Weathington. I'm sitting here trying to remember where I got the thing. It's like a year and a half since I haven't put it in the ground. It's, yeah. one, it's one of those videos that's been on the list. Plant the. Plant it doesn't the maple. like a ton of sun, but it's, <laughs> right. it's an awesome plant. Like, yeah. You give it a little late yeah. day shade. It's really, it's really, the bark's purple. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, it's super straight trunk without any, I mean, like yeah. it's really rigidly straight. And the coolest yeah. part to me is during the summer months, you mm -hmm. still got that purple new growth to it. Yeah. But you, that sort of early summer, late spring, you get almost like a bluish tint weird, to the right? older, like yeah. a bluish purple tint to the older growth, which is pretty crazy. There's not another maple it's, you can get the color It's funny. I right. feel like we're in such a hot.